Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome to another Planet Coaster video inside of the Cube, the mighty roller coaster theme park cube with uh, a lot of rides, a lot of paths, and a few upgrades from our last episode. So, in our last episode, we built the ultimate dive coaster inside of the Cube, and it actually scales all the way to the top of the Cube. It's pretty cool. Since that episode, I've actually done a few upgrades, and actually, since the last episode, I've managed to get the ride. Ooh, okay. It needs to do one more bit of testing, but uh, let me just show you the new rating for the ride. All right, so there we go. We've got the ratings, and it's all green, which is awesome. One of the things I love to go for is a six excitement rating. Uh, and then everything else, five fear roughly is pretty good, and then anything below a two nausea, I'm absolutely fine with. So, results, the max speed is 108 miles an hour, the average speed is 25, the most G's is 8, uh, which is quite a lot, but I'm sure people will ride this, so that is absolutely fine. The other thing I've done is connected up the paths, which actually I really like. This is actually really necessary for the cube and uh, kind of getting people around the different areas. So there's two ways of getting to this ride. There's this way, which is now part of a new theme park area, uh, part of the park, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's a new way to get to this end of the cube. Yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say. But also up here, um, to these rides that we did a couple of episodes ago, which is at the moment pretty quiet. But what I'm hoping is by having multiple ways to get up to this point, and even down here, uh, people will be able to go around and try out as much as possible of the park, which would be awesome. But yeah, so that's open. I'm very happy that that's actually working and all good to go. So that's a good surprise. Um, but today, I feel like I'm going to do the impossible, and that is to build a bobsled inside of the cube. Definitely one of my favorite rides in the game. It just is so different, and it just offers so much, like, uh, variety in a theme park full of steel and wooden coasters. This is a wooden coaster, but the way it works is just so different from anything we've seen before. So... I would like to have it around this area here, I think. Maybe, yes, this is a good little spot here. Now, there's also going to be a bit of a problem with this ride. And that problem is the fact, look at that, it's kind of made to measure. I don't want loads of wooden structure. So we're going to have to use a new material that we picked up in our last episode of Planet Coaster called Nolly Metal. Uh, or as I like to call it, and instead of an alloy, it's an alloy. <laughs> which is a really fun thing to say. <laughs> but yeah, we're not going to have any track supports. Okay, so one thing I really want to incorporate, there's a couple of things I want to incorporate. Number one is to go through the eye of the cube. That'd be kind of fun. And maybe loop around some of these coasters. Um, I want to use, I don't want to do what I normally do with the bobsled and just have like really long track. I want to kind of use the fact that the coaster can go around in circles quite a bit. So that's one thing I intend to use and kind of play with. Right, so is this going to hit that? I don't think so, which is kind of lucky. I kind of lucked out a little bit there. All right, so first things for... Wait, is that the shortest I can do it? Ah, oh, really? Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot the bobsled's kind of weird in the way it works. The shortest track piece you can do is 12 meters, which is incredibly annoying. But let's get some excitement going. Yes. This is going to be great. So, obviously, we don't want to <laughs> plow it right into that point there. But we do want to just skim it. So, that would be kind of fun. Right. So, I want to test out that. And I want to see what kind of speed we're going. So, start the test. Let's have a little look. All right. So, here we go. Live data. It's probably not going to be going that fast. Yeah. 30 miles an hour. Absolutely fine. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right on the entrance. Oh! Oh, God! Um, well. That was kind of lucky that I didn't hit anyone. Oh, that might have hit someone. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, let's go around here. And I want to use the banking, because the really nice thing about this coaster is the fact you can bank so much. So, let's 
Let's do that. So we're only going 30 miles an hour. So we could probably crank this a little bit more. Okay. I. It's weird. I, d I don't know. Oh, okay. It only gives you the rotate thing when you turn it. When it's straight, it goes... That is weird. I've never noticed that before. Have you guys noticed that before? All right, maybe. All right, so that is pretty much where we're up to right now. That's going to be kind of a scary moment in the ride. But we are banked and hopefully it will be okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe we need to make that a little bit shorter. I don't even know if I can get away with this, you know. No, <laughs> it's kind of sticking out. No. Ah, uh, there we go. Got that as perfectly bubble as possible. And we just want it to be... I don't know if this will actually work, but... Like, maybe... <laughs> maybe that will hit the ride. I'm not sure. Can I go... Where can I go down? Oh, there's a bit over here. Okay. This actually looks awesome. I'm I'm so happy with how this is turning out so far. Uh, and then we're gonna turn. Hey! That's actually really cool. We've kind of left this gap around the edge of the uh, theme park. But it really has kind of given us some really nice opportunities. Okay, so there I want to have it go back into a chain lift. Because I want to get some more height, hopefully, if I can. Um, oh, no. Just missed it. Damn, that's really annoying. Wow, that is some precision. <laughs> oh, my, that is so lucky. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, man, I love this. This is ultimate right here. This is so good. Uh, okay, and now we want to obviously avoid that because that would be a bad moment if that hit that. And we want to go this way, this way. I have no idea how well this is going to go, but <laughs> I'm really interested to see how this gets on. Like, sometimes I build these rides and they are just an absolute disaster from start to finish. So, I, I'm i hopeful, but also I know how this sometimes goes. So, yeah, it might be a fail, but hey, it'd be cool to see anyway. Okay, so I finished building it and actually this might be the coolest bobsled ride I've ever built. Let me just give you a little tour. I don't know if it's going to be able to complete it. We might have to make some adjustments. But if it does, this would just be so awesome. Like, genuinely. Like, it would be so cool. Uh, I am actually so pleased with how this has turned out. The only thing I'm worried about is probably this section here. It might be okay. It is a full 45 degree turn. Then we're going to come out of that. I'll move the trees, obviously. But I don't know if we're going to have enough speed to come up to this point here. Surely we will, surely. And then we've got another lip down. But this bit is just so cool. You kind of go round underneath. <laughs> Presumably at some speed, but I don't know. And then up, and then we go up again. Round, down, some real wiggly stuff, which I think would be fun to kind of watch and see how that pans out. Might smoothen out some of it here, just to... <laughs> <laughs> remove some of the the bits here where I, it might struggle but there we go round down that bit needs sorting out that's a bit better round down sleep round back in up down okay what do you reckon is this gonna work yes or no in the comment section I knew it was going to work. I knew it wasn't going to work. Let me know in the comment section. Let's see how it gets on. And if it works, then I get the privilege of riding it in first person view. But all I want to see right now is just how it gets on and whether or not it can actually complete it. So, yeah, let's, let's just see how this goes. I'm really nervous, actually. Okay, watching all the info. Right. Let's just see how we're getting on. So, we're at 45 miles an hour. Three Gs already. Okay, 30. We knew we were about 30 miles an hour here. Oh, man. It looks cool, though. 50. 60. 
<laughs> this is a big moment. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> okay, this actually might be fine. Uh, I'm looking at it. Okay, a fear of eight isn't too big of a problem. 4G's minus 1.5. Oh. Okay, so you know I was worried about not being able to make it up to this point. Well, we're at 60 miles an hour, so... Oh my goodness. <laughs> this looks actually nuts. Oh my! Oh, it is quite cool though, I have to be honest. It's going to have quite... I know I keep pausing it and stuff and it's super annoying, but... <laughs> okay, that might be a lot of g-force there. I didn't see that, but oh my. And then arguably this bit should be relatively, like... Yeah, I mean, that was actually great. Look at the rating right now. It's 11, 5, and 2. That is perfect. With 35 miles an hour. It's a great section for a track here. This bit, not so much. <laughs> Let's just walk, let it go back. Oh! <laughs> We're going to have to put some brakes in, guys. Okay, how bad are the ratings? Oh! Dude! <laughs> Those ratings are awesome. 7.4 uh, 7 and a, less than a 6? How did I get away with that? I'm definitely... I kind of want to put some brakes in here because... <laughs> I don't like the idea that this goes in at 50 miles an hour. That is just so unbelievable. Uh, the rating will probably get less exciting, but hey, I, I just want it to be safe, you know? Right. I am definitely 100%. Are you surprised? Let me know. I'm surprised. I really, really thought I was going to be here for another three hours fixing this. But this looks okay. Right. Let's ride this. Oh my, this is... Genuinely, the bobsled is the best roller coaster in the game. Period. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, this is awesome. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. There's a few moments here where there would be some serious airtime. But due to the fact that <laughs> the game doesn't have airtime physics, uh, or it does, but it, it won't come off the track. Oh my goodness. Oh! Okay. Oh my goodness me. That was electric. Hey, the rating is pretty good. The nausea went up a little bit, but... Oh, my goodness me. All right. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, guys. Subscribe and check out this video on the screen where uh, I, I built something else. It was a good video. You should check it out. Thank you for watching, you beautiful people. And I'll see you in the next one. I can't believe I got away with that. That was just awesome.